Hi vlog, I'm currently in Germany. I'm getting ready to go on my first trip by myself. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna catch a train in Munich. I have a hostel there tonight. So I think I'm gonna go out tonight in Munich and then wake up tomorrow morning and then figure it out from there. This is the beginning of my first ever German travel vlog. The first of many, I hope. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Wow, it's so beautiful. It just rained and so everything is really bright and vibrant. But, so I'm on my way to Bavisi right now to go hang out with my friend for a little bit. Hopefully get like a bit of a nap in. I'm going to hop on a train to Munich this evening around seven or eight. And I have a hostel that I'm staying at. The only things that I have planned is where I'm staying tonight and where I'm waking up tomorrow morning. But basically I'm just gonna go to Munich tonight go to a club, go to a bar, something. Hopefully my friend Nina can come and meet me. If so, you will see Nina, and if not, you'll just see me on my solo bitch shenanigans. Tomorrow morning, I'm probably gonna go for a run or a hike or something. Right, I'm editing this right now, and I just, had to, I just had to insert myself. We did not do that. And I'm gonna edit it out, but I really thought that I was gonna go to Innsbruck or like Ulm or like somewhere, somewhere close, but like somewhere cool to see outside of Munich because I have been to Munich before. I'm like, I want, it's a long weekend. I need to like go farther. Didn't do that. Mm -mm. No, Friday was a little too crazy. Crazy, crazy. And you'll see that. Um, But I'm just going to spare you all the rambling. I was like, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to get a coffee and read in the park. I was hungover and I didn't do any of that. So I'm going to cut that out. But that was my original plan. Didn't happen. I still had the best weekend ever, and it turned out better than I thought it would. But yeah, don't listen. And to look her. up some places. Go to a coffee shop. Look up some places that kind of look interesting. And I don't really know. My options are open. I'm just kind of going wherever my gut leads me. You know. My gut led me to the club. Are we surprised? Mm, shouldn't be. Mm -mm. My only limitations are I only have $250 to spend. I also went over budget <laughs> because I didn't plan for anything, so everything was last minute booked. She's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. You think so highly of me. <laughs> and um, I have to be back by Sunday evening. So wish me luck. I will update you as I go. Um, and hopefully this wasn't too long of an intro. I'll probably see you in Munich. So we just made it to the Holzkirchen train station. Look at the freaking sky. I'm very tired, but I chugged a Red Bull, ate a pear, um, and now we're on our way. I'm very tired. I might sleep on the train, honestly, but... I will see you in Munich. I'm definitely about to be embarrassing myself all night by recording myself, but do it for the vlog, right? Plus it's just so pretty. Like, how could I not? Looking for my headphones, I have this feeling that I left my headphones at home. She did leave her headphones at home, both pairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I spent probably the first night looking for them in all of my luggage. No. No. Oh, I got some orange juice and some vodka. Yeah, I'm like positive I did not bring any headphones. Yeah. Damn, that's super unfortunate. I guess we're going to have to be alone with our thoughts. So basically, I'm a freaking genius. Um, the hostel I booked... Look how cool this place is. The hostel I booked is half a month. Um, so when I was taking this video, so little, silly little me, I uh, I did it in slow mo. So I sped it up a little bit. My my voice is super like distorted. So I'm gonna save you from me just rambling like this. Uh, it sounds really dumb, but basically my hostel was just really close to the train station. It was like half a mile away. Literally a five minute walk it was fantastic and i didn't even do that on purpose i was just proud of myself so that's what i says. really do be looking out for myself though huh okay 
I don't know how much I'll be able to film at the hostel, but I'll film when I can. This literally feels like college. This literally feels like a dorm in college. I got a free shot, a welcome shot voucher. I don't know if those will be, I think I'm gonna be in any one of my room, but I'm staying with like a, seven other people. And I have to get ready. And then I'm gonna go down the bar, I think. Can this thing go? Oh my God. I'm gonna give a little bit of context. I could either take my free shot and go sit in a corner booth and read my book and get a little buzz going before I went out, or I could just pull up a chair to somebody else's table. So I just pulled up a chair next to these four guys. They were all from the UK. And we were talking about accents and they asked to hear my British accent. It's it's trash. Like it's not, it's kind of, I think it's offensive. Um, so I did it and they're like, you wanna hear American accents? So that is this, um, and I find it wildly entertaining. In case you're wondering what we sound like to people in the UK, this is their impressions of uh, Americans. Be here with me. Three American say, oh. videos are like, hi, I'm Stacey, I'm going to Connecticut. Okay. Should we act American? Yes, so act American. Say, yes, yeah. okay. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here in Munich and we're having a great time. I can't wait to go out. <laughs> We've been playing some cards for you. We're gonna have a good time. Whoa! Do you have a nose? I wouldn't be any nose. Hey, my name's Jack. And I'm from Texas. I'm on a really, really great time out here. And uh, I'm just gonna pass it to my friend Josh. <laughs> we, are, we are so Americans. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, I'm Tim and I'm British. Great. Fantastic. It's a fix. It's a fix. It's a fix, yeah. You said my first water is free, but after that it's two euros. What, tap water? No, we've had, tap, we've had loads of tap water. It's not. It's not no, you right. told me. It also, costs money. You can just lean over and do the tap yourself. No. No. You can, it's like within reach, you just go like that. Right in front You of can do that. You're not me. A thief. <laughs> yeah, you are a You're thief. A and the US water is free. Yeah. It's decent water as well. I don't know about decent, but it's free for a reason. Either I'm stupid and I cannot find my way to the club, or there is no club that exists called eight below and I have absolutely no service and it's two in the morning. Oh, so I'm gonna try my best to explain what that was um so i met these guys i was i decided to give up for the night i couldn't find the club that i was trying to go to and so i was walking back home or attempting to walk back home um and this guy he walked by me him and his friend and started yelling at me and so i was like ma yelling back whatever and he was like come with us come with us and i was like oh, shit okay Walking home by myself at 4.30 in the morning, um, I stopped recording so I could go talk to some people that looked interesting. Ended up fine, I ended up making friends, so like it was whatever, but I didn't finish my story. So basically these guys are like, oh my gosh, girl, like what are you doing tonight? I'm like, I'm trying to go to the club. And they're like, us too, do you wanna go to the skate club with us? And I was like, absolutely, I wanna go to the skate club with you. So they just, they had this like air about them. I love these guys so much. And they are like, we were about to go up to the bouncer and he was like, just look like, just look like you belong. Just look like you know what you're doing. Just walk by him. And I was like, okay. And they're like, wristband. And I was like, oh, right here. And I have all these bracelets on. I was like, and I kept walking. They just let me in. I was like, oh my God. 
We were like up on the stage dancing. I'm throwing guys shirts around. We're getting free drinks. I mean, everybody and their boyfriends and all the girls that were there were so nice. Like nobody was catty. Everybody was like hyping each other up. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. So definitely recommend going to a gay club because I have never felt so safe in a room full of men. I've never felt so free. <laughs> it was fantastic. Okay, so I just finished having breakfast at the hostel. Um, honestly, for seven euros, that breakfast was fantastic. There's a very large possibility I'm still drunk. We're slightly tipsy, but we're not gonna talk about it. I ended up shopping and not going to Innsbruck, but it turned out for the better. But I was like, I shouldn't buy anything in case I want a ticket. <laughs> I am in the seventh layer of hell. It is so hot in here. The hangover is hitting. And I don't know what it is, but something about shopping brings out this very aggressive side of me. I am an angry shopper. Like, Target, fine. I'm so pleasant. I'm wonderful. But, like, department stores, I I think I'm this close to pulling someone's head off. Why am I such an angry shopper? You're here to get fun things and dress up. Have fun. I also think I need water. I'm like super dehydrated. Oh, it literally got so hot I had to put my hair up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's growing it out. Anyways, we got a new outfit. So we ended up waiting. I'd say like 40 minutes in that line. Um, I was just about to leave. And was the outfit worth it? No. No, it wasn't. Definitely spent 70 euros. But all good. Now our next mission is water. So I'm in search of water. And I have to say, I really got to step up my style when I come out here. Because the bitches out here be knowing how to do it. Like, they look good out here and they know it. Anyways, I'm still wheeling this baby around. Who the hell let me bring a freaking rolly suitcase? Who let me do this? I look like an idiot. So I'm currently at, it's like a beer garden, but there's also like uh, merchants and stuff selling things. Um, yeah, lugging around this suitcase, I don't know who I thought I was. But I'm literally just clobbering across fucking cobblestones, drawing so much attention to myself. So, and I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I just had some salmon and potatoes. I think I need to go home, or I just bought a hostel. Uh, it's my first, it's my second hostel, it's my first mixed. Um, but I think it's fine. I'm feeling a little bit braver. Um, Oh my gosh, I can't even think straight. I'm so tired. So I think I'm gonna go back there. It's the one right next to the one I stayed at last night. And it sleeps three. So I think it'll be a little roomier. Hey, me again. Um, So I was dumb and very tired and I booked a hostel for Sunday night through Monday morning instead of Saturday night through Sunday morning. Um, So whenever I showed up to the hostel, um, to be like, chicken for your dinner, Whitehead. She was like, we have your check-in for tomorrow. 
and they literally had one bed left in the entire hostel. All the hostels were booked up. That's why I didn't even show up for available ones for that evening. Like whenever I showed up, one had just freed up because someone canceled. Thank God. So I got a room and I was with 11 other people and it was a mixed storm and it was, and I had, it was a lot. I had to climb a ladder and that ladder was aggressive. It was aggressively high. Um, but we did figure it out. But she really thought she was going to be staying with only two other people for 20 euros. Girl. No. And hopefully I don't have to sleep on a top bunk again because that was awful. 100% just jinxed myself. Foreshadowing. Okay, let's go walk 20 minutes to the hostel, yeah? So, I made it to the hostel. I thought I was getting a three-person dorm. So now I'm gonna change into something a little comfier. I've just been having a bad day. It's okay though, because we're gonna turn it around. And then going out tonight, I think. And then I enjoy to have it in me, but I think a nap will definitely help, so. I'm sweating my ass. I may explain this later whenever I'm editing and everything but last night my plan was to have a couple drinks at the bar oh my god it's so loud have a couple drinks at the bar hang out maybe make some friends like I did the night before within the area like sitting at some of the tables and then go out to a club and then go from there I did not leave the hostel I sat down next to these two guys oh my god look how pretty anyways I sat down next to these two guys um, Ian and Owen, fantastic friends, love them. And then they introduced me to their friend, Will. And I think I sat down at like 9 p.m. or so, and I didn't get back up to leave the location, leave, leave the location until like 3.30 this morning, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, at one point we got up and we all went and got donor, 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 I think it's called. Literally amazing so freaking good donor in a cup i have no words freaking fantastic i think that munich won some kind of soccer champion national cup something there's a giant rally going on in the middle of town square um i have, I have no idea what i'm doing today last night was a good night i didn't pull out my phone at all because honestly no one was really on their phone or anything I'm literally just walking around. Oh, and there's horses. Just walking around and then I stumble upon this. Just, do you see the statue? Is it, look at the people. It is humongous. And there are horses back there. It's just so beautiful. Like, hold on. Prada, subtle flex Prada, being on this little town square. And it's so nice out today. I feel like I could just tan but beautiful, gorgeous. I'm just gonna walk around some more. Wow, look at that statue. I'm gonna go get a picture of him. This is why I love Germany. I literally just stumbled upon this. I found the boba place. My hair is still in my mouth. That's hairspray, so much hairspray. I'm like dying. Oh. I found the dark spot. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I do this thing, it's really smart actually, so if you think it's smart, steal it from me. But I'll drop a pen to my phone number 
with like the title of like the place so it'll be like if I'm traveling somewhere I did this a lot in Florence um, if I saw like a cute bar or like somewhere I want to come back to at night or like somewhere I was at at night and I want to come back in the morning drop a pen with like the what it was whatever and come back to it saves me so much time looking around because I can't I, I can't remember where I've been I have no idea unless I've been to somewhere at least 10 times I can't get there without maps I literally 10 times the same route each time too cannot get there without a map so saves me a lot of time and energy and I didn't have to ask anybody for the address because I should know it by now I should know where our dock is but I brought my pillow does anybody else bring a pillow when they go tanning because I know for a fact I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna read my book and sleep and get really crispy we're liberally crispy so I don't know, should be a fun time. I was gonna bring wine, but I'm really trying to like lay off on the wine at the moment because I have a way too way too easy access to it. So I need to like once a week, you know? Vodka anytime. Wine once a week. That's on some pounds. <sighs> okay, I'll see you. Let's go to the beach each. More like let's go to the lake egg. Okay, see at the lake. I'm excited. This is gonna be so TLC. Yeah. It's been like four days and I'm just now finishing editing this vlog and I think this is the first vlog that I've made, edited, and finished since I started doing vlogs outside of my Instagram vlogs. So yay, first finished vlog. Um, I didn't do any kind of buy in case you wanted to be told buy, but if you watched the whole thing, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, I'm going to Salzburg this weekend uh, where they shot Sound of Music and where Mozart was born. I'm so excited. I'm only going to be there for like 18 hours. So we'll see if anything interesting even happens. But I will vlog it. And if anything does happen, I might post it. I'm all right. I think about it. But I'm really bad about editing. Even though I'm like, I'm going to vlog. And then I never, I, I never post them. So we're trying. We're trying so I can remember my time in Europe. But... Thank you for watching. I'm going to bed. And hopefully I will see you in Salzburg. Goodbye.